So as we're discussing these conservative vector fields, an important question to ask yourself is, given a vector field, how do I determine if that vector field is conservative? Well, we're going to start with the two-dimensional case. Now, a vector field is conservative if there exists a potential function or a generating function for it. So it'll be true that the first component will be the partial derivative of f with respect to x, and the second component will be the partial derivative of f with respect to y. Now, according to Clairaut's theorem from back in our discussion of partial derivatives, the mixed partial derivatives in either order <clears throat> should be the same. Now, what that means is if I differentiate f with respect to x, then y, that should be the same result as if I differentiate f with respect to y, then x. Which means that if I take the first component and differentiate it with respect to y, I'd get the thing on the left side. And if I take the partial derivative of the second component with respect to x, I get the thing on the right-hand side. So suppose that you're just given some generic-looking two-dimensional vector field. Well, the idea is that this would be the partial derivative of f with respect to x, and this would be the partial derivative of f with respect to y. So differentiate each of these component functions with respect to whatever variable we haven't yet differentiated, and we'll get it. So here is your test. Given vector field f with component functions p and q, if, oh, I was about to write a partial derivative sign for f, if the partial derivative of p with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of q with respect to x, then your field is conservative. A quick example of a conservative vector field <clears throat> would look something like this. So suppose that we have capital F is equal to 2xy cubed and 3x squared y squared. So we're going to know this component function as p, and we will know this component function as q. And we'll go ahead and do that test for conservativeness that we're looking for. So a partial derivative of p with respect to y would be equal to, we treat 2x as though it's a constant, multiple, and then we differentiate the y cubed with respect to y, giving us a total of 6xy squared. Doing the same thing for q, this time differentiating with respect to x, we'll be treating the y squared as though it's a constant multiple, actually the 3y squared as though it's a constant multiple, and differentiating the x squared with respect to x. Then reordering appropriately, this would be 6xy squared. You'll notice that these two things are equal to each other, therefore f is conservative. Now once you verify that something is conservative, the next big step is going to be determining the generating function, and we will do that in the next video.